Alright, hello and welcome back, you guys. It's time again. <clears throat> it is a new day, and um, I really want to be doing art, <laughs> so I'm trying to bulk record. Um, so I apologize that these are all like right back to back, and I know I'm asking questions, but I promise when you guys get to see those episodes. Um, I will still take into consideration. We have many more episodes to go on this on this park in case you haven't noticed. We have to fill this entire area back here. And that means I have to figure out how we're going to do that. Oh, look, it, I've made a lot of changes. I apologize. Let's start over here somewhere, though. Um, I haven't changed anything over here. But what I love to see is how freaking popular Wipeout is. Look at this. We have 20 people in that line. Let's see how many people we get on this uh, the ride. I love these huge sombreros. Yeah, okay, I think we could definitely get more than 20 people on the ride, technically. That guy even made it in there. 22! Alright, wasn't full. It still has empty seats. But I love to see that it is super popular on this side of the park. Um, the slide has never not been popular. This ride also, I noticed while I was doing some building recently, kind of picked up in its popularity and I don't know if it's just because I covered it or what. Also, I'm tired of seeing these people that need to go to the bathroom. There's a bathroom right here. There's a bathroom right here. There's a bathroom right here. Like my bathrooms aren't that far apart. There's another bathroom here, which I changed this bathroom, you guys. Um, I left these flags floating. Hang on. We'll just, uh, yeah. <clears throat> Anyway, like it never happened. Okay. Um, so I did that. Oh, I built, I changed up this finally. I built a little house here. Um, I had to deal with a lot of vandals while I was doing some of the building this time around. So I keep forgetting to finish this. I'll finish this one of these episodes and I'll forget to show it to you all, but it will be finished eventually. I promise. Um, let me think thing here. I don't think I did anything else over here. I did. So when I did the thing with the water, I messed up like all of my rides. I ended up having to rebuild this one, which is closed again right now. I don't know why. So last time it was because these were actually in the way somehow. Um, and so I had to come in here and be like, boop. And then like, that was all it took. Yeah. Psh. Which I'm trying to prevent people from going back in there, so I thought I had to put stuff... Anyway, it doesn't matter, but it's open now. Um, okay, I didn't change too much else, though, I think, on this side of the map. Um, I did do this border thing here. I tried to add benches here. I don't know if I showed you guys that. Um, and then, yes, I built this hideous-looking building over here that I will fix eventually to house the staff room and... Um, a trash bin thing because I was going to put the next food court. See, there's a food court here, so I didn't want to put another food court right here. So I'm going to put it back here, I think, up at the top of this section here. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do that. And then um, I feel like that's it. Well, I mean, I built these bathrooms. I put doors on these bathrooms because they were giving me a negative rating. This roller coaster is pretty popular. I bumped it up to ten dollars, um, and it's been doing okay. People still want to, you know, use it and everything. Um, I don't know why we're in the negative at this moment. Put a cash machine down there since somebody said they can't afford it. Apparently, we need a cash machine on every corner. Speaking of which, let's just, let's look at our cash machines real quick. Thirty-two thousand. Let's go. Um, I think this one was the newer one that I had placed down. 15,000, okay. So this is not a super popular area, so um, that seems normal. 40,000, let's see how our one at the front is doing now. 57,000, wow. That is a crazy amount. So instead of building actually on that far side there, I kind of wanted to put in um, one of the car rides here. So I think we're going to do the safari ride. 
because I made this section a little bit more into like it's a jungle and we're going to forget about a boat section over here, I guess. Um, although it might be cool to have it where like this path interacts with the car ride in some way. Um, but yeah, let's just, let's get this going as best as we can here. I'm trying to figure out where all I want to start it even though. Because like, we can put up a bunch of stuff here. This double ferris wheel thing is just the most interesting contraption. I feel like for this I should have made a little bit of a longer queue line. Like I should probably extend the queue out to here so people aren't walking up to it and being like, oh, um, I can't get in here. Boop. There we go. We'll do it right now. Perfect. Okay. All right, back to our safari ride. So I don't want to put it here because I want the the like entry to come from a path over here. I, I was I was gonna branch this off and come down here. My other option, I guess, is just to make this a really wide path right here in this area, and then bring it down here. But, I mean, we, we could do that. I don't think that's fine. Okay. Oh, really? You can start off with a curved upward? That's really cool. I didn't know this ride was so dynamic. So I think we'll do some terraforming with this. Because I love that you can do, like, bumps on this. Oh, we could do, like, a really big bump, too. <laughs> That's terrifying, right? <laughs> you, like, come around this corner and just almost topple off the ride. <laughs> oh, God. Bonk, bonk. <laughs> I mean, I think that's part of the ride, though. That's that's definitely part of the experience. Like, definitely part of the experience here. Okay, so I kind of want it to curve, like, way out here. Do a wiggle. Turn. Turn again. We need to put our bumps down, too. Right, because this makes it way more fun. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> I'm sorry. It's not that funny. It's not. It isn't. It is, though. But it isn't. Uh, actually, let's go up here. We can have, like, the people interact with the ride. That's kind of cool. Oh, we can't do that with that one. That's a bummer. I want it to come all the way over here to the uh, to the log flume. So I'm, I'm I don't want to make this too long of a ride, but I also like I'm trying to think like the little car rides at the park that I can remember as a little kid. Like they were long enough and like really calm because like your parents had to keep you in the car, right? And you know, they were relatively short because how long can a little kid sit still? Hmm. There's just so much jostling there. Okay. Um. And unfortunately, I can't be like. Oh, let's make it, you know, so much longer. It would be really funny if we could get <laughs> there to be, like, them to get splashed on or something here. Okay, hang on. No? Okay, that's fine. Oh, that's, yeah, because it's right there at the water then, huh?
So we'll build up like a jungle over this. Oh, that's lovely. It, I hope it connects up. Okay, great. Thank you. Um, okay, so I'm actually going to make it where our queue line goes up and over this ride. Which I think requires it to go like this. I'm not sure though. Let's make sure we're using our queue line. Okay. So now. Oh, oops, my bad. That's not me not paying attention. For sure. No, that. There it is. Okay. So, uh, you know what? Let's just open it. See what happens. That's a lot of vehicles, though. Hang on a second. Maybe we don't need nine. Let's go with... Mm, let's, mm, I don't know. Let's, we'll just do eight. We're going to do eight. Because I think that this one rotates them forward. Um, even if they're not being used at that moment. So. Okay. Okay. And then we're going to want to put a sign on here. Wonderful. Okay. All right. So the point of this too is that we need to decorate the heck out of this ride. And we do have some money to do that. So I'm going to do some of this decorating here. And now, as a matter of fact, did the um, did the uh, adventure pack come with trees? Because those would probably be perfect for this. If I'm honest. Um, we're gonna put mangroves down in here, I think. Or like near there, I guess, maybe. And then you grab their giant root system. There we go, see? Look, we're going out on it. We probably should pause it and put some more bumps on it. Um. So let's just see, though, how well this will do. Are we making a statement here about deforestation? Maybe. Um, how big can I make this, Sequoia? Oh, that's as big as it goes. Okay. That is a pretty big tree, all things considered. Um... Uh, I do like that tree, but let me snag this tree here. Actually, let's make it dark. Yeah. Oh, I did that. I really wish there was a control Z in this game. An undo button, if you will. For those of you who don't know what that means. <laughs> I apologize, I always use shortcut terms, I guess. All 
I love that these fit down here underneath of this giant tree perfectly. Um, we will throw down some palms too, I think. That's not a palm tree. Did I click this and not click color? That was my bad. That was my bad. There we go. A little interaction there with the tree itself. Um, I obviously love this big red tree, so hopefully you guys <laughs> don't mind that I use this tree all the time. Um, I don't know that there would be giant red trees in there, but there are now. Oh, I like this tree a lot. Ooh, this is a little, little hidden gem of a tree, if I do say so myself. What the heck is this tree? I love it. Oh, I ate that tree for breakfast. Whoop, there we go. All right. Trying to destroy as little as possible as possible here. Wonderful. Okay. Um, what else would go in the forest though? Is like kind of what I'm trying to think of here is like what can I put down here that's Oh wait, wait, that fit there. Yeah, I'm gonna put it there if it fits there. Let's go. If it can find its spot underneath of all these other trees then. You know, it belongs. That's that's what we say. Alright. Oh, we have the Candyland stuff! Sweet. We're gonna add that to the berry section for sure. Um, I don't know what to do in the water. I'll figure it out. We'll probably do some more rocks or something like that around in this area here. Um, but for now, this is our ride. And its decoration rating went very quickly to amazing, so that's good. Um, its excitement is high. I like to see that. Let's ask five dollars for this. Um, cool. So good to see that people enjoyed this. Um, and you know what? I'm gonna add some benches down in there because I think, like, if people like the ride, they're gonna want to like be able to sit here and like maybe watch it go around a few times or something. So. We'll add that in there. Throw down a lamp up here and here, and I can put another one there. Okay. And then you know we gotta put our trash cans closer to the entrance and the exit. Um, so we're gonna put one right there too. Okay. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. And I'm. So the other thing I like to do, and what I did over here that you can hardly see is just absolutely cover the bottom with plants as well. Um, I love these shrubs for that, frankly. And they don't interfere with the um, uh, the trees or anything like that. And like I can let them go a little bit over the, um, the ride, so. Woo! Very bumpy right there. I loved watching him go over that at that speed. Um, <laughs> we can change up the color too here. I probably should have spaced them out a little bit more so I could do a little. A little variation here and there. Try to cover up some of the... Uh, Um, supports and things like that as people go around here. 
create the illusion a little better, if you will. So here we have kind of our, our swampier area. Cool. And that's it. That's really all it takes. Um, I also might throw some flowers down. I don't know if I've shown this, actually. Um, what I like to do for my flowers is... Um, I'm going to take this dark green, though. Um, and we'll probably do a red flower, like a ruddy pink flower. So I don't like that they stand up here like this. They look like a bouquet. Very lovely, very lovely. I like to shrink them down into the ground. And I actually thought of this because I've been playing Animal Crossing... And one day I was designing a cute little park that nobody will ever see. Um, it'll never see the light of day, don't ask. Um, but I was inspired by Animal Crossing. And I was like, how do I get these cute little flowers into the ground? Because, you know, I don't know. I was making paths and stuff in Animal Crossing. And, like, putting little flowers on my pathways and stuff. That's my favorite thing to do in Animal Crossing. Um is create different paths for my for my different villages that I come up with. Anyway, <laughs> sorry. Um, so yeah, so I, this is how I put flowers down though. And when we zoom out and you get to see it, you'll, you'll see it looks pretty, pretty nice actually. Even if it's not in the perfect place for people to see it. Okay, that should be enough. There we go. So now just speckled around and you know, it looks like we could hit this zone here a little bit more with bushes. Um, are just a few flowers. Um, I'm going to put this shrub down. Okay, good. I don't really like building in the dark. What is this? No dark building. Here we go. We can kind of increase the rating of this ride too by putting some of these bushes near here. Um, I don't think it'll improve the rating too much, but you know what? I really wish that there was an option to make the size of these random. Um, the Sims used to have that ability where, like, it could be random how that worked um, when you placed on a tree. Okay. Uh, just dirty up the edge of this path here a little bit. There we go. Right around here. Yep. There it is. Try to dirty up the underside of here as well. There we go. Would be a lot easier to tell what we were doing if it was light out. I'm getting really used to building in the dark at this point. Uh, it's not my favorite thing, though, to have to do. Right. Okay. There we go. So people are flocking to this ride. Um, makes me very happy. So one of the things we will end up doing is like fleshing these areas out. Um, over here we don't have very close by like a trash chute thing. So we might build a little building for... Um, aesthetic purposes, I guess. That also hides a trash chute in here. Um, and there should be a pipe nearby because, yeah, here's the depot right here. Um, I don't think that depot is affecting anything, in case you guys were wondering. Um, it should not have any effect on anything right now because nobody should be able to see it. I don't think. Okay, yeah. That's not giving me any, like, rating of it's being affected so we're gonna go with that um 
Let's see. Can we build a jungly building right there? We sure could. I love seeing the little speckled flowers. We even could have gotten a little bit deeper if we wanted to. Um, and I can show you guys what that looks like too. So we can go one more down. But let's also, real quick though, change the color of our flower too. Um, I think that's blue. Right there. I, li I like it. It's like hiding Easter eggs all over the place, you know? You gotta look around for where have I hidden all of my flowers in my maps. So in this ride too, right here, should be getting a little bonus too from all the decorating that we've been doing. I think we'll cover up that path if we're able to. There we go. See, so you can really set them in the ground. I don't think the flowers really... Oh, they do wiggle a little bit. That's okay. But so you see, these ones are a little higher up, and you can set them in the ground a little bit more, and then they just kind of look like they're setting on top like these flowers almost. Um, and I really like that feature. Okay. Um, let me see here. We've got like four minutes. We could have a little bit of a longer episode if it takes a little bit longer than that. Um, to build ourselves a cute little, um, really simple, <laughs> let's make this a warmer green even, um, trash chute hut building, if you will. So I use this round door over, um, um, on the far building that I was just showing you guys that's hideous looking I'm trying to think the one that housed the uh you all probably know what i'm talking about i'm just stumbling here um <laughs> the one that housed the uh the staff room and everything over there and um like there's no doors that fit in there and i don't know what that's about i don't know who needs to know that that doesn't work um but it doesn't it doesn't work and I'll show it on stream <laughs> I'll prove it to you guys I'll prove it to you all oh I don't need that whole thing no 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 no. we just need trash you in here thank you okay um, is that gonna connect right up perfect that's it and then a little doop path and you know what we could even put benches in here um, Something I've noticed, I don't know if you guys have ever done this before, but um, your people can come in here and take a rest. Um, so like for this zone right now, I, I might change it and we might add a little um, staff room over here on this side here. Um, tell me this car is about to move. Okay, great. Um... Anyway, the um, the people well will come and sit down though if they got nothing else to do here. So, and actually, what we're gonna do is this: we can do that, and then we can actually throw down the staff room right in here, so we don't even have to worry about it now. See, look at that, easy peasy. All right, and then we can put down our bench, so. And they'll appreciate that, they will. Um, I'm sure, I'm sure our janitor will really appreciate that. Um, let's see, how can we get, what kind of cover roof can we get on this? Um, I think I've unlocked everything, by the way. I, I don't know if our research is in, the mo in motion here. So we're researching coasters, we've got all of our statistics, we've got all of our decorations. We've got all of our shops, all of the water rides. Oh, we don't have all the water rides. Okay. All right. There we go. There's somebody utilizing that space right now. So love to see that. Um, let's use the Halloween roof. I haven't used it yet. So, um, and can we get it in dark brown? 
Let's pick a nice dark brown to use. Go. I didn't go with dark brown. I went with really vibrant brown. <laughs> so sorry. There. Oh, okay. Thank you. Oh yeah, I'm following Acid Jesus. I don't know if you guys saw that little blip there, but I'm following Acid Jesus around. Um, I always find him um, because of his little space helmet. He's the easiest one for me to spot, and uh, I don't think I even look for any of the other special characters that show up, but Acid Jesus is, is <laughs> my, my favorite one to find, and then I just I follow him around the park. He literally started off over here, though. Yesterday when I was building, he started off all the way over here. He rode this ride like three or four times. Sat down, took a rest. Like a few minutes later after I've built this entire thing right here. He is on the clear other side of the park where he just was. And I was like, all right, ask Jesus. Look, look, he's booking it. He's booking it. All right. We love to see it. Anyway. Um, oh, you know what? We could match, I guess, this color here. Ah, I like our roof color. I like it though. Um, what we could definitely do is swap out some of this wall for like this wall. Like that. And that. There. I'll do like that maybe. Okay. I don't know. It just changes it a little bit. That's all I want. That's it. And I don't know how we can cover that up, but I don't think those few things peeking out of there is really affecting any decoration readings or anything. Because usually if it is, you'll get a little notification that your decoration reading sucks because of such and such building. Okay, well, I am happy with this progress here for today's episode. Um, yeah, I think that looks really good. And um, hopefully you guys enjoy too. Let me save real quick here. And thank you guys so much for joining me. I will see you all in the next episode.